there are a lot of ways to get high. I actually have a tier list ranking all the different ways to get high, at least a lot of the stuff that I've tried. And it's probably one of those videos that I could do once a year, just reassessing all of my different ways that I like to get high and ranking them in my favorites. But today I want to talk about the top five best ways to get high. And obviously these are my opinion, but I've tried so many things so many times and I'm here to tell you these are the best ways to get high. Now, if you watch my Twitch stream, you've probably seen me use this guy right here, the hammer. I put it on a flower bowl. I rip some hot air that gets pulled through, vapes my flower, and I get some amazing hits with it. I usually use it with a water pipe, so it's ball vape, water pipe hits. And lately, I've been using an 8-inch piece, but I also like an 18-inch water piece that I have because you can get some really nice large hits with it. Any other kind of herb vape, not quite as good as a ball vape, and that just happens to be my favorite ball vape. Number two on the list is cold start dabs off of a quartz nail out of a smaller glass rig i'm trying to be specific with the setup because you could try a cold start on like a titanium banger out of like a 40 inch piece and it's not going to be as good as if you rip it off a quartz out of like a nice six or seven inch piece i use a lot of mj arsenal stuff you know we have that coupons code on their website and i actually been using a smaller piece of theirs for my flower lately but cold start dabs they're so easy to do there's less room for error you need less tools and equipment and you can really get some amazing hits. Now, number three on the list kind of relates to the previous one, but I do have to separate them, and it's E-Rig Dab Hits. Now, most E-Rigs do cold starts, and I'm going to be as specific with it as I can because I really only like the Puffco Peak Pro. I've used the new one. I like the Proxy. I like the Core 2.1. I like the Carta, but it's it's not as good as the Puffco, and it's still pretty pricey for, for what it is. It, it could be so much better for the price. But E-Rigs do cold starts, and they're so easy they're so convenient it's even easier than a cold start with a torch i literally just program the temp and then i double click the button i hit something on an app and it just does the perfect dab for me i just got to make sure i put the right size on there i think e-rigs are really great because dabbing is a bit of a skill and it's kind of overwhelming especially if you've never done it before it's like oh i gotta bust out the blowtorch now there's just too many potential issues i've heard too many stories of people burning themselves or burning things around them i've heard some horror stories of people burning their houses down just because they wanted to dab. Now, I think you're good with an E-Rig, like as long as you don't get a super cheap one that explodes or something. But as somebody who helps out a lot of new stoners, it's hard for me to like tell people to get a torch. Like, yeah, bro, just go get a blowtorch and you're going to start heating this up. It's so much easier to say, you know what? Look at a much safer, much easier to use electronic device that does it all for you. Now, it's very unfortunate that most E-Rigs are garbage, but if you get a good one, Oh my God, you're getting good hits. I do have a YouTube video that's a tier list on E-Rigs, but just comment to Twitch and see what I'm using. You'll see how they hit. The next one on the list, we're on number four now, is RSO. Now, this is one I don't do that often. I don't do it every day like I do some of the other options. I really only do it every now and then, but when I do, I try to go a little bit hard on it. I think we're going to have some on Halloween, which hit me with your Amazon Prime sub on Twitch. Every Twitch Prime is an extra milligram on Halloween. Plus, I get that free Jeff Bezos money. Help me out twitch.tv slash subs slash coupons but rso is my favorite edible it's rick simpson oil if you're not familiar it's a full spectrum oil it's not like distillate or distillate edibles you're getting all the cannabinoids and terpenes from the extract and the high on it for me is some of the best highs that i've ever had like I, multiple times i've been high for like 24 hours off a bunch of rso that's why i don't do it every time it's harder to gauge i personally need like a larger amount so like when it hits I, I, it hits and I've done RSO edibles, obviously. I think that's something I see a bit more of now. Not everybody's just pushing distillate edibles. I do see RSO, but I like it in capsule form. I don't really do the put it under your tongue. Because like I said, I'll need like a gram or so. And really just putting the RSO right in your mouth is like... Your teeth are going to be sticking all day. I really do like it in capsules. Hopefully we have some decent RSO on Halloween. But number five on the list. This is one I don't do that often as well. And I haven't done it in a while just because I don't have as many options for it here in the state that i'm in now but it is drinks infused drinks are some of my favorite times that i've had in the past it can be a harder hitting high but you don't have to smoke anything you don't even have to eat anything and it's gonna kick in sooner than edibles you get some nice infused drinks some infused liquids i've had plenty of nice sessions i'm just sitting outside drinking some nice fruit punch and a nice glass of ice on a warm day and then like 30 minutes later i'm intergalactically high infused drinks are really nice but it's it's hard to come by not every state has them i have found some things here in florida but they really just offer powder for a drink and it's like uh, 
it's not that great it, the doses are low like it was seriously like four ounces of powder for like 100 milligrams or something and i'm like i would need to put that in like a half a gallon for it to properly shake up i don't know <laughs> there's no drink options here if you've never tried drinks try them once maybe go with a dose that's similar to what you would take edible wise but you're not digesting it it doesn't process the same as edibles but if you've never tried drinks give it a shot at least once i can't wait till they have some options here in florida they're just this this is nothing great right now but when they do you can best believe your boy is gonna be a sipping either way come get high with me on twitch the sessions at 9 p.m eastern link your Amazon Prime and you can give me Jeff Bezos money. Have a lit day.